Hey guys, today I'm gonna do something that I have never done before. Walk from one city to another. I am currently in Macau, like, I'm in the city right now, like there are buildings behind me and I'm about to go through a border check that's gonna take me to Zhuhai and you can see a building here. That's Zhuhai just there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk from Macau to my hotel in Zhuhai. Of course, because Macau, like Hong Kong, is a special administrative region, there are border checks between here and mainland China. That's what's about to happen here. But I'm gonna put my camera away now because I'm almost 100% sure I'm not gonna be able to film in there. Okay, so here I am, mere moments later, on the other side of the border. I am in Zhuhai! Oh, I left my bag. There's Macau there on the other side. I'm gonna go walk myself to my hotel. So Zhuhai here is a smaller city in the Greater Bay Area, and actually this Greater Bay Area is home to a lot of smaller cities that are very interesting, very unique, and worth checking out if you have time. Oh. This is Past Amy reporting to you live from Foshan, a city very close to Guangzhou. And if any of you guys are Kung Fu fans, Foshan probably needs no introduction. It's actually being called the hometown of martial arts. Some of the world's greatest martial artists actually come from Foshan. And the two of those that get me most excited is Wing Chun Grandmaster Ip Man. He's also my personal kung fu idol, and no joke, right after I saw Ip Man the movie, I went out and got Wing Chun classes, which I took for over a year. And secondly, the one, the only, the legendary, Bruce Lee! And uh, yep, they love their Bruce Lee here in Foshan. I'm currently standing at the base of the world's tallest Bruce Lee statue. It stands at 19 meters tall. In fact, there's an entire park dedicated to Bruce Lee here in Foshan called Bruce Lee Paradise. For the Chinese modern history fans, you're gonna love Zhongshan here. It's the hometown and birthplace to one of China's most important figures, arguably the forefather of modern China, Sun Yat-sen. And Sun Yat-sen's name in Chinese is actually Sun Zhongshan. You betcha they named this city after him. This behind me here is actually his former residence. So you might be wondering, What's Zhuhai famous for then? I'll give you your answer. Ah. Zhuhai is a coastal city and there are heaps of islands you can come and explore. I'm here at Dongao Island, which is probably the most beautiful and popular of them all. It only took me like an hour by ferry to get here. Back on the mainland, right next to Zhuhai city centre, there's a beautiful coastal walk here called the Lover's Walk. It goes for kilometres and kilometres. Okay guys, time to get myself out of Zhuhai and onto my final destination in the Greater Bay Area, Hong Kong! Whoop, whoop. And if only there was some quick and easy way for me to get there. Oh wait, there he is. Let me introduce you to the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's very new, completed just last year, and at 55 kilometers long, it makes it the world's longest sea crossing. It's also a super important part of this Greater Bay Area. Check out this map. This bridge is essentially connecting the east with the west side of the Bay Area and makes everything run just way more smoothly and efficiently. It used to be quite a hassle to get from one side to the other, but now there are shuttle buses running every 15 minutes that can get you over the bridge in under an hour. That was a very easy process hitching the bus. Cheap tickets, quick customs. Yay! I've arrived in Hong Kong! Hong Kong! I hope that the next time you see me I have a big plate of dim sum in front of me. See you then! Bye guys!